and welcome back to the Neon Revolution. I'd like to start this episode off by saying thank you to all my new subscribers for joining the revolution. I hope you guys enjoy the content that I put out. One video a day for as long as I feasibly can until either the money runs out or uh, I hit it big. And then we'll change it up from there. But today's episode, as you can see, we've got a Shining Fates tin. We've got the uh, uh, Eldegross V tin. Just came in at GameStop. Apparently they're going to be getting them in periodically. Um, now I think I was one of the first people to put in pre-orders in my area, which is lucky because they're doing it by the date that they were placed, which is good. All right, so let's get this super awesome tin open. And there is the card. Let's go ahead and get it right out of the plastic code card for you guys if you want it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and double sleeve this up. Even though it's a promo card and I normally keep promo cards in their own little book. Um, hopefully this won't be the only one of these that I ever get. So the first one, it's going in a double sleeve. I'll saw this plastic out. All right. And one, two, three, four, five, six packs of Hidden Fates. Go ahead and get out of there. Let's take a look at this tin, too. It's a very interesting tin. It's a new design. One of three foil cards. You got Cramorant, Aldegrasse, and cute little pup dog. Six of the Shining Fates booster packs and a code card for the one that you get in there. Super cool all the way around. I like it. Hopefully I'll be getting the other two soon. So let's go ahead, switch to the close up, start opening some Pokemon cards. Alrighty, and we are here with the close up. Six packs of Shining Fates to go. Now obviously, card that we are after is that shiny Charizard VMAX, but from what I've been hearing, it's actually pretty common to get. Uh, full art Ditto VMAX would be another one to, uh, to go for. The first day that this uh, set came out, two Charizards were sold ungraded for $900 a piece, which is just absolutely crazy. So let's jump right into this Let's see what we get starting off we got Nicket EV beautiful artwork on that EV moving right along there's Chutol chewing on a uh, we call him the cat's tail where I am from uh, more Peko more Piku whatever you want to call him you got Snubble in the background I always like the artworks where you have uh, other Pokemon behind him and stuff like that all right energy we'll get that out of there all right, ball guy, super creepy artwork. I don't care what anybody says, super creepy artwork. If you were walking home and you turned down a dark alley, and you just saw this, that guy right there. Full life-size version, six foot six, just standing there like that. That's terrifying. Team Yell Towel, Grookey as the Reverse Hollow, beautiful looking card. And let's card of the pack, Boss's Orders. Now, Boss's Orders, from what I have seen from other channels, it looks like that is going to be the one that uh, comes up a lot. That and uh, the new Professor's Research. So, we will have plenty of those on the eBay page. Uh, selling them probably for bare bones, just to kind of get a couple dollars streaming back in so we can get more cards whenever stores end up having more cards all right so four from the back all right let's see if we can do a little bit better on the second pack there we got roulette cufant spinnerack snum energy get that out of there all right let's see there he is again Super creepy. He's just hiding around all the corners. Tropius. And there we have the reverse hollow Nicket. 
and Selby. All right, so even though it's non-hollow, it's still beautiful, beautiful artwork. We are sleeving up all the rares and reverse hollows. Uh, doing it on camera just so that everybody knows that I do do it. Um, I go through probably more penny sleeves than anybody else that I know. I go to uh, my local uh, comic book store to buy them. Once a week, I'm in there, and they're like, oh, we, yeah, we set them aside for you. Because I buy that many, because I'm trying to open up that many Pokemon cards. So, all right, we got more Peko, more Piku, different artwork. We got Shuckle in the background. Horsey. Spinarak. Rowlet. See, there he is again. Look at him. You just stealing stuff from other Pokemon? Is that what's going on here? All right, energy, we get that out of the way. Rotom, looks like he's reading a book. All right, Rusted Sword. And there we have it, our first shiny of the day. Galarian Yamask, Yamask, whatever you want to, however you want to pronounce it. And a Hollow Luxray, so a decent pack right there. Finally getting another shiny. I was getting worried, we had such good luck with our uh, Pikachu box. I was kind of hoping we were going to have the same type of luck with uh, with this tin here. I've seen, I've seen, I, there's already error packs being reported and stuff like that. Uh, who was it? The Real Breaking Nate, one of the biggest ones uh, in this field, opening Pokemon cards. One of his videos, he opened up a pack, he got an amazing rare, he got a full art shiny, and then he got a full art, um, non-shiny so he got three three uh, at like perfect cards in a single pack which is just absolutely insane i mean the guy is super awesome from what i can tell um hopefully one day uh get to meet him but all right so pack number four all right we've got grookey eevee more Piku and Chutul and then Nickit. All right, get that energy out of there. All right, we got Thwacky. That's a new card for us. Cramorant, another new card for us. Rusted Shield. And there we go, back to back. Shinies, Corviknight. Look at you. Beautiful looking card. And what do we have behind you? All right, a Zaru. That's the other one. That's another one that's going to be coming up a lot from what I've been seeing. All right, so, so far, two Shinies out of the um, out of the ten. So let's see if we can maybe split the packs or, I mean, we got two more packs to go. We could end up getting four Shinies. That would be something. Listen, I don't care what I get. I just want to add that Charizard to my collection. Um, I want, I want him on my shelf, I want him graded, I don't even care what he comes back as, I just want him graded. But PSA, for anybody who does not know, is a 9 month to 12 month turnaround right now. Alright, Cacnea, Horsey, Cufant, Cufant, Chuto, Yanma, might be a new one to us. This is only my second Shining Fates opening so far. So super excited to see some of the new artwork and stuff like that. Some of the new cards. A very fitting card right there. Seems how that is the one that we got with the tin. Ramorant. And Rotom as the reverse hollow. Beautiful looking card. And a full art trainer card bird keeper. Let's go absolutely amazing number 66 out of 72 well the first 72 because after that it's all the shinies let's go ahead double sleeve you up and take a look at you look at that card beautiful be i love that artwork absolutely beautiful how is the centering uh, the centering looks perfect absolutely perfect card looks like a very strong possibility for a PSA 10. Let's check out these. I didn't really check them out earlier. Uh, that's on the side, right? Yeah, it's on the inside one. 
I mean, yeah, these, these look like they're in great condition, too. Great centering. Yeah, all three. All three are getting submitted. I like it. Oh, and we gotta sleeve up Rotom. I didn't forget about Rotom, I promise. Alright, so, last pack of the day. Come on, Charizard. I've seen so many people pull you. I just, I just want to have you in my collection. This pack wants to, to walk away. All right. One, two, three, and four. Final card trick of the day. And let's see what we get. Starting off, we got a horse. We've got a Rowlet. Mokiku. Spinarak. I feel like this set is going to be uh, a very interesting set because while it has a lot of shiny cards, a lot of chase cards, it's only got 72 normal cards, so you're going to get a lot of uh, duplicates of like the commons. I mean, this is an uncommon. We've pulled three today or four today. Same thing with Rusted Sword. I think that's a new one for us, so that's kind of cool. Gym Trainer. Like that artwork right there. Yanma as the reverse hollow. And the last card of the pack. And of the day, a Dredna. Non holographic, but still. Beautiful card. I have so many different you know artworks of Dredna. Dredna V, Dredna V Max. Alright, so how did we do today? Well, let's go ahead and look. We got two shinies and a full art, so that's super cool. Absolutely amazing. And then, honestly, you know what? Just because it's so new, all this is still, I mean, you know, even these are going to be hard to come by. Um, just a reverse hollows because you, know, you need that. You only get one chance per pack to get that reverse hollow. So... Selby, Boss's Orders, and Grookey. All right. So I do have um, another Shining Fates coming out uh, two days from now, I think, is when they said they were getting a truck. And it's the Pikachu one. Um, but until then, we have hidden fates elite trainer boxes i have no idea how i was lucky enough to find this i drove to a walmart that i'd never been to before out in the middle of nowhere cornfields for 30 miles in all directions and they somehow had two hidden fates elite trainer boxes so i was lucky enough to snag both of them and uh, they will be in some of the upcoming episodes so please stay tuned for that if you guys do like the content that I've been putting out, go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, tell all your friends to come subscribe, join the revolution, so I can keep doing this one video per day for even longer. Right now, uh, I believe this is, should be episode 84, which is just crazy to think that I've been doing this for 84 days and no signs of stopping just yet. But as always, everyone, thank you again so much for watching the video, and have an amazing day.